This game really doesn't have much to it, so I'm not really sure where to go with this. It's a visual novel with the sole purpose of getting your rocks off, so let's begin. We have a story with the protagonist, a responsible but pushover of a main character moving out of his rich house to go run a bakery. Of course we have no idea what he looks like, what he sounds like, or anything since then we couldn't project our sad existences onto his blissful, peaceful life. Once he's done unpacking, he notices that inside two boxes he didn't remember packing were two of his cats that didn't want to leave him at home. Aww. Except they're not cats, they're girls with cat ears and tail. That's a little bit less cute. They say cat girls are closer biologically to cats than humans in this story, but they look physically identical to humans, except they have ears and tails. Apparently though, they grow up at the same speed as cats, so they reach adulthood in a year or so, fully able to understand English and Japanese, I guess. In just this short time, they become proficient enough to run food stalls like Food Stand Cat, who's probably being exploited for cheap labor. I'm surprised there hasn't been a surge of cheap labor with cat girls by abusing the short growth cycle of a year for alternative labor for simple tasks, or using them as military soldiers since they can just clone more and create a clone army and get them through basic and everything in only a year. I suppose right now you couldn't ship your house cat to go fight in the military, so maybe it still falls in the line of animal abuse. Not like this game has really went to any effort to think about that, but how long will it be until legislators rewrite draft laws to include physically able cats? Also, if a cat girl were to scratch a little kid, does that mean she gets put down like an animal or does she go to court like a human? Well, these cat girls can earn bells, which are essentially badges that permit cats to act independently but track them via GPS so they can't get away. Not sure why a cat couldn't just go out in public with a hat and put her tail in a pair of pants and pass without meeting a bell. That would be too easy. Well, the bell aptitude test consists of abusing and tormenting your cat and verifying he or she does not react in any way. This includes drugging them with catnip and making sure they don't feel anything. That's as if you were to give somebody four shots of alcohol or so and fail them if they feel the least bit tipsy. Oh, but don't expect there for a second for there to be any real struggle in this game. One second they fail miserably at every test and it looks bleak and hopeless, and then the next chapter loads and they walk in the front door with their bells. Not to mention every cat in his family has a bell from this test, even though the passing rate is only supposed to be 10%. Yeah, that seems like a very difficult test. You can clearly see I was focusing on all the wrong things while playing this game. I just get so absorbed sidetracked trying to justify the lazy world in this game and coming up with hypothetical situations since the main plotline is just so boring. You go off on your own to go run a bakery where everything goes amazingly well and you instantly get customers and everybody likes you and you're loved by multiple women, seven of them in fact, and you have no financial worries. Alright, I'm clearly not the target market for this game, but still. It's two panty flashing cat girls practically nippling at your D waiting to get it. Unfortunately, they do get it. It's not even your character comes out coming onto them mutually, it's more that they go into heat and they can't possibly live on this barren, cruel earth without the taste of your cock to moisten their parched throats. They literally say, if you don't have sex with us, it'll adversely affect our health. That's even less trying than, we need to have sex so I have enough magical power so I can make more swords than Gilgamesh. Should your character be tried for bestiality at this point? I don't actually know, I'm not sure I really care. There are no choices in this game, all the... All you do is stare at moe cat girls eating cake or whining at you. If that's your thing, then have fun. There's a boob jiggle toggle on the options, so you can customize that to your ideal velocity. Then just spam the P button to make them bounce repeatedly. So yeah, it's not a game, it's masturbation material. Now that I didn't know that going into this, but I thought maybe I was wrong, you know. If the two main cat girls can get you off alone, here's a Scottish bullet getting hot and bothered off a science textbook. I like to imagine that instead of going to live in a bakery, the main character really was just running away from home to get baked. And instead of cat girls, he was really just high and pretending two stray cats were real girls since nobody would ever talk to him. He sits alone in an abandoned building, hugging the cats while praising him for helping the customers so well. At least then his extreme luckiness would make sense. 